What is up, cool kids? I'm Cool Trainer Gavin. Welcome back to the next episode of the Pokemon Red Rescue Team. Uh, Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team post-game. I believe this is a episode 18 now? Um, so I did do some grinding between episodes, like I said I was going to. Um, also, I'm trying out a new mic. It's one I've had for a while, but I've never like gotten around to figuring out how to use correctly. So let me know if you hear a little bit of a difference. Um, that might be slightly undercut by the fact that I have my door open and a couple fans out in the other room. Because uh, it's like evening and like the sun beats right down into the side of the house uh, at this time of day. So it gets rather hot. So I do have some fans going. So if you can hear those, I do apologize. But anywho, we, um, so I, it literally took me like four hours. I don't know if it was just my bad luck or if they just don't spawn in high numbers, but, um, it took me like four hours to find a sunstone to evolve my gloom into a blossom. Uh, just cause I wanted to have, um, I didn't want to have like the psychic weakness and I wanted it to resist round really is, is pretty much what it is. Um, but we have me bolts, our magneton. Oh crap. Uh, me bolts, our magneton who I have to go get again. Um, and Adium, uh, going down into Stormy Sea. Uh, so we'll have you join the team. And, uh, I do, oh, I forgot. I need to grab the, uh, HM for Dive. Because I don't want to, um, teach it to myself. Because while it is, like, it's an okay move, um... It can only, you know, like, like, uh, dig can only be used on land. Dive can only be used on water. So it's, like, severely limits its usefulness. Um, what item am, am I getting rid of? I can get, I've got three huge apples. I can store an apple. Alright, so we'll go ahead and take out, uh, our HM for dive. Thank you. That, oh, actually, do I have a TM for Dig? If I have a TM for Dig, I'll get rid of Dig. So yeah, I'll store Dive again. Yeah, if I've got the TM for Dig so I can reteach it to myself, I'll take that. Uh, I don't. Hmm. Because I, I can't use Dig in this dungeon at all. Is is why I'm... Why I'm... Why this is going through my head here. Um... So I did teach myself Surf over Water Gun. Not you. You. I could teach myself Hidden Power again, because that went so well the first time. Okay, if I get rid of Dig, what else can I teach myself? Um, so I want some kind of coverage. Besides just three water moves and an ice type move. Um... I don't think I could learn anything besides return, which normal type isn't really coverage, you know? Uh, earthquake is never a good move. I guess I'll just bring Dive with me. But I'm going into this with so much less PP. You know what, I'll check the job boards just super quick to see if there's any TM rewards. Like decent TM rewards, we might as well. If if I find one, I'll skip to uh, just going right into uh, Stormy Sea. Reviver Seed, useful but not quite. Reviver Seed, eight hundred dollars. That's a pretty decent one. Nope, no TMs. All right, so we're just gonna we're just gonna send it. How many full uh, or max elixirs do I have? Four. That should be enough. There's a 44 dungeon. I mean, I'm sure I'll get knocked out enough to um, get my PP revived that way. If not, I'll just purposefully knock myself out if I run out of, um, if I still have Reviver Seeds and run out of, um, run out of Max Elixirs. Alright, we're in here. This dungeon, like I said, is 40 floors. But I think we're I think we're well equipped for it. Between all of our movesets, like Blossom has range and two uh, with bullet seed, 
And um, solid damage, super effective damage with uh, Giga Drain and Acid. Well, Acid's not super effective. But, uh, and then this Magneton is literally, like, godly with Sonic Boom. And I'm pretty sure Thunderbolt... Oh, I don't want that on. Pretty sure Thunderbolt hits all around. Yeah, foes within one tile range. So it could potentially hit eight foes at one in one move, which is crazy. Do I not have my X-rays? Oh, no, I do, because I can see... Oh, seeing items is going to be tough in this place because everything, everything, like all the background's blue. Yeah, I would not see those. A little bit of overkill, but that's okay. So the the items in this place are actually like super good, super good. Because there's a there's a ton of gummies in this place. Join me. That was the worst move I could have gone for. I love you, Omastar. Damn. Oh, Omastar? Oh, my knight. So I thought about... Um, so I put something on Twitter a while ago. <gasps> I'll, I'll see what level you are. Obviously, this is Lord Helix. Actually, I'm not going to commit to nicknaming you yet. No. All right, well, I guess uh, I guess I am because it won't let me. <laughs> I'll have to retype it anyway. So, Lord... Nope. Where's there a space? There it is. Lord Helix. What level are you? I feel like you're low. 25. Okay, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. Um, but, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, um, there's a, a line of plushies out um, called the Sitting Cuties. And they're exactly what they sound like. They're all uh, the Generation 1 Pokemon in, like, a sitting pose. And they're so freaking adorable, man. Like, they're literally so cute. I will get, I'll pull some pictures of some of the cuter ones and throw them up on screen, um, if I remember. I probably will. But, um, but they're literally, like, they're so stinking cute. And I knew that I wanted, um, I want a fossil one, because I, uh, when I get to my new apartment, um, I want to set up some shelves in the back, uh, to set up, like, a proper set instead of what I have here, uh, which is just, like, a long like you, you you see it it's literally just like a long table um with some books underneath which i do think the books especially for the palette university videos plug for my second channel palette university i talk about it in every outro basically uh, a channel where i talk about pokemon theories and the science of pokemon but anywho um basically i think the books give that the the set a good feel for um palette university but not so much for this channel Um, that and like m as much as I love my l pet lizard that I have in the back there and if, if you didn't know that's what that big tank with the lights on it is that's a that's a leopard leopard gecko tank um, and as much as I love her you know having her in the background and like all the stuff that she requires uh, that I keep next to her tank um Make, makes for like just a messy looking video so i'd like it to just be like a plain wall with some shelving on it i think that would look super nice um so i want to find a way to set that up at my new apartment i have no idea the the layout of what my new apartment's gonna be so that'll be kind of exciting uh when i finally get there in about um right around a month at the time you see this actually um I will try to do a little bit of a vlog type thing because um, I'm making a trip with my parents um, but we're, we're driving separately sort of we haven't actually decided what's happening yet but we just know that we're taking two vehicles the original plan was to uh, all three of us to fit into my car and get a um, like the smallest U-Haul trailer 
Um, A, because that's the only one that my car is able to tow. And B, um, two, wow, bullet seed's broken. Um, yeah, because it's the only one that my car is able to tow. And it's really the only one I'd need. I'm not planning to bring a ton of crap out with me. Um, but we looked into pricing and stuff, and it's, it's about a 24-hour drive. From where I live in New York to uh, the city in South Dakota that I'm moving to. And um, A, 24 hours in a car. Even like they're my parents and I love them. 24 hours in a car with anybody is going to get annoying. Um, but like just like cost-wise, it just really was not cost effective to do that. And you'd think that driving two cars would be so much less cost effective, but it really wasn't because they were planning to fly back. Um, not like get a rental car or anything. They were planning to ride out with me and then fly back. And uh, to get where I live, they'd have to fly into Syracuse, New York. And the tickets from um, South Dakota to Syracuse were like several hundred dollars a piece. And so when we did out how much um, putting a hitch on my car for the trailer renting the trailer and the plane ticket how much that would cost it was much much cheaper uh for everybody to do i really need this gold ribbon not really i have a lot of money um it was much cheaper for both me and my parents uh for for them to drive separate and me not have to get the u-haul trailer it was several hundred dollars cheaper so um probably for some parts like, I'll have my one of my parents with me for another part. I'm sure they'll be... I'll, I'll be in the car by myself. So, we're taking like a week to get out there almost. Uh, we're leaving on either uh, a Sunday or a set, or uh, a Monday. Aaron. Hello. Yeah, we're, we're leaving on... Uh, wow, you have a lot of HP. Um, leaving on either a Sunday or a Monday. And... Ugh. I need to be out there uh, by like the following Thursday is is when um, my job starts so like the timeline of that is like we leave a couple days beforehand we leave like three or four days beforehand 24 hour drive so it'll take like we're not gonna drive it all at once obviously uh, so we basically uh, we're gonna take two days to do it is the plan so we'd want to get there on Wednesday, get sort of settled, um, like relatively early Wednesday or maybe even like Tuesday night, depending on which day we leave. Um, and then maybe do a little touristy stuff on uh, Wednesday. And then Thursday, I start my job. Friday, uh, I believe I'm still going to be working. And, uh, but that's also the day that I can move into my apartment. So my job technically starts before I'm able to move into my apartment, which is a little weird. Um, but it was like that, that's mostly why, you know, we're, we're going so early is because I don't really have a place to go. So we're going to have to get a hotel. So while I'm at work, my parents are going to move some of my stuff like not get me like unpacked but just like move it physically into my uh, apartment building or my house um and then we're gonna spend the rest of the the rest of the weekend oh thank you that was so nice of, so so nice of lord helix and then Slowpoke is just like nah man that's not it And I can't dig. I'm standing on water. Um, yeah, we're going to spend the rest of the weekend like getting me unpacked and settled, figuring out what things that I still need, because I'm sure that we're going to forget some things, or like choose not to get things until we get out there, just because it'd be easier to get them out there than it would be to like transport them. Moving across the country is like, it's a whole ordeal, man. And like that's not even thinking of like some of the, the some of the like stuff that like you wouldn't even think of if you're not like if if I didn't have a bunch of my professors who have done the same thing 
um, like giving me advice because I'm gonna have to get a new driver's license um, when I do that my car insurance will probably change uh, so, that, so I'll probably have to do something with that um, my health insurance we have no idea what's gonna happen with that because I'm still on my parents insurance uh, obviously because uh, you can be on your parents insurance until you're 26 which I always thought was kind of dumb like if they're paying for it anyway like what 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 do the insurance companies matter who's paying for the insurance but I digress um, but um, yeah so we have no idea how that's gonna work like will any of the places out there take like will will I have to will I have health care essentially is the question and we have no idea so there's that um, I'm going to have to register my car at some point I don't know we we don't know when that's gonna happen um like whether it's gonna be when my car registration expires I just renew it as a South Dakota registration oh god that's gonna ice ball and rollout are terrifying in this game please just die yeah cuz like my parents have never moved out of state before they've lived in New York their entire their entire lives um, like they've gone out of state before for like trips and stuff but they've never like moved their entire life out of state so like it's gonna be interesting that's for sure and those are just the things that we've thought of so far like there's super good odds that there's just a million things that I mean not a million that's that's definitely hyperbole but like all sorts of things that we're forgetting about that we're going to that like you know six months from now I'm gonna be like crap I need to do this quickly mm. and that doesn't even include uh, anything with my roommate you know because I, I do have a roommate out there and she uh, I haven't talked to her a whole bunch, especially lately. In the last couple weeks, we ha I haven't talked to her much. So I, pro I probably should. I probably should just be like, hey, so like, what kinds of things are you bringing? Like, I know, I, I know for a fact, I am definitely bringing my Keurig. Like, I have a single serve, I have a single serve Keurig, and I literally cannot function without coffee. Like, that's sad, but it's definitely true. Like yesterday at work, um, uh, I I so if you didn't if you didn't know uh, during the summer I work at a subway, which like sounds like a bummer. Like you just graduated college, Gavin. Like you should be working at somewhere better than subway. But in New York, the fast at least like outside of New York City, the fast food minimum wage is twelve seventy five. So I get paid twelve seventy five to make sandwiches for people, and work with some like really I I really enjoy my coworkers. And my boss, like, I've worked there since I was 17. So my boss gives me, like, basically any days off that I want. So it's it's a lot nicer than than just wor just working at a subway. But anywho, I made myself my coffee because I, uh, I opened the store. And um, yeah, I made myself my coffee. And I put it in the freezer because it was too hot. And, you know, the plan was to just leave it in there for, like, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. Completely forgot about it until about half an hour before I left and I just been in like a crap mood all day And I could not figure out like like nothing particularly bad happened I didn't have any like rude customers or anything like that But I just like was just in like a bad mood for like most of the day and Then when I realized like I went in the freezer to look for something and I'm like, oh, yeah, there's my coffee I hadn't I haven't drank in this drinking. That's a word. I haven't had any of this yet Then I was like, oh, wait a minute I'm going through caffeine withdrawal today. That's what's happening. So, yeah, caffeine addiction's a real problem. Um, but anywho, back to back to the how I got into that conversation. Um, the uh, the roommate situation. Like, if she doesn't have a Keurig, like I don't want to tell her like or like any kind of coffee machine. Like I want to be like, hey, don't uh, you can just use mine. Don't don't go out and spend a bunch of money because Keurigs are expensive, man. This one was given to, given to me by my sister, so I'm super lucky. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, and even just things like, will there, will there be a shower curtain in my shower when I get there, or will I have to buy one? Will there be a bath mat? I don't know how this works. I'm very fortunate in that my apartment's fully furnished when I get there, so I don't have to, like, buy a bed or, um, you know, or really anything furniture-wise. Um, I have a couple things that I'm going to bring. Um, just, like, a small bookshelf I'm probably going to bring. Um, I, haven't even, I haven't even looked at what moves you know, Homestar. Yeah, don't use that. Don't use that. Um... You know what, you can handle that, Magneton. No, nope, star that's not what I wanted at all. Thanks, Magneton. Um, but yeah, so like, I don't know necessarily what I'll need and what I won't need. Because, like, will there be, like, shelving in my room? I kind of hope so. Will there be a desk? That's a real question, because where am I going to put my computer? I should email my landlord and ask, because that, that by itself right there is a really important question. Or will it literally just be, a, like, a, a room with a bed, and that's it? I hope that's not the case. I'm going to make myself a note to do that because I will 100% forget if I don't do that. Like, I've looked at the floor plan of my apartment and um, it includes the bed in the floor plan, but it doesn't include anything else. So it's like, I, I don't, I don't know. Wait, did it include the bed? I don't even know anymore. It's been a long day. Today was my day off. And, like, I've actually done a lot today. I... What did I do? Um, I edited the last episode, the episode that went up on Friday. Um, I, I mean, I meant to, but I didn't. Uh, edit another video that will be going up. Uh, on Wednesday, there will be hopefully another video up on the channel about it uh, sometime today. Tia, return, you're such a bad Tia. Um, yeah, hopefully there will be uh, a vi another video up today. Um, about a new series that we're launching uh, with some with some friends. So hopefully that will be up. Uh, and the first video of that series is going up today, but not on my channel. Uh, the first episode on my channel will be on Wednesday, so keep an eye out for that, uh, as on, on top of uh, the normal Wednesday upload for this series. How long have we been recording for? Okay. So wh where I have my new mic positioned, I can't see how long I've been recording for. I should probably, I'm going to move that between episodes. Um, but it does not look like we're going to get to Kyogre today. The Blossom, you get your hiney back here right now. Thank you. Um, but yeah, like, there's just a million things that I'm so, like, unsure about, about moving. Because, like, you know, the, the farthest I've moved away was, uh, where I went to college, which was about two hours. Of course I can't. Um... It was about two hours away. And it was like... It really wasn't anything super serious because I could come home anytime I wanted. Jonathan, what do you want? Sorry, that's my cat. Like, I, I love him, I swear I do. But he's literally like the most vocal cat you've ever seen. Yep, there you are, Jonathan. I know you're here. Jonathan, I understand that you want... Actually, no, you don't even want anything. What? No, don't. I don't want you on my lap right now, Jonathan. I love you. You're adorable. Actually, you know what? Heck it. I'll pick you up. Come here. Come here. Ugh. Look at this boy. He's chunky. Aren't you, buddy? 
Oh, you're drooling. Why are you drooling? Get out of here. <laughs> Ew, now I'm all hair and... Oh. Jon Jonathan, I know. But, like, you meow and I go out to your food dish and it's full. Your water dish is full. You don't want to go outside. Like, you'll look at the door. I'll open it. And you'll just walk away. He's literally, like, the most indecisive and annoying cat ever. I love him dearly, and he's, he's like, he's super cute. Because there are some, he, like, he's super cuddly, too. Like, he loves to cuddle. But at the same time, he's very warm. So, like, in the middle of summer, I really don't want to cuddle him. He's a very big-boned cat. This episode's been all over the place. <laughs> Hopefully it at least sounds decent with the new mic. I'll probably record um, next episode with the same mic just because I want to record both episodes today. Um, and I'll probably just record it back to back before I forget what I'm doing. Yes, Jonathan, I still hear you. I still know... I No, I just kicked you out. What are you doing? Alright, you can chill on the bed, that's fine. <gasps> what, what, Jonathan? What do you want? Don't claw at that, that's my phone charger. Oh my god, cat, you're gonna give me an aneurysm. What are you doing? Get off of that. Hey, I know it's a box. There's a box on my bed. But it's way too small for you to fit, sir. After we kill this... Okay. Once we find the stairs, I'm going to end this episode because this episode's literally been, like, nonsense. Self, you get back here right now. Okay, it's just an armado. You can take it. Unless you use... Please don't use Dig. Whatever you do, War Turtle, Gavin, please don't use Dig. Because it will literally just not work. And you know, don't click the super effective button either, that's fine. Twice in a row, you just don't click it, that's good. I understand. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to wait until we find the stairs. I'm going to end the episode off here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video as much as I did, please, please, please like and or subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch at CoolTrainerGap. Uh, like I said, check out our second channel, Palette University, which focuses mainly on Pokemon Science, Pokemon Theories, etc. And until next time, smile you later.